in this lecture we will see how we can use a uh, variables in power bi so uh, this these are variables which will hold some value and then you can uh, probably do some calculation on that so in this particular example i have taken uh, a variable and on that uh, uh, then we are deciding some discounted price on that uh, so that we can calculate uh, based on that for example if the the total quantity is greater than 20 um, or 10 let's say then we will give a, a discount of uh, 20 or we can give a discount of uh, uh, 10% like this so uh, let me open our power bi uh, page so report and i will add one more page here so on this i will first uh, add a, a table here and on that uh, i will add uh, uh, the product name and uh, then i will add the customer name then let's say the quantity and uh, probably we can add uh, the price as well uh, so i'll take the price one now on this uh, basically if you will see um let me right click on this and i will say don't summarize so we don't want a summarize on anything so whatever the rows are there uh, available so we will do the reporting on that now in this case if you will see here i have a quantity 5 here 18 uh, here 34 now what we will do is uh, if if uh, we will just finalize if uh, let's say the quantity is greater than 10 uh then or uh, then we will give a a 20 um, uh, we will do a, a discount of 20 into the quantity and uh, if it is less than 10 for example in this case uh, the first one is 5 so they will get 5 into 10 probably 50 discount but in this case if it is 18 then they will get 20 so 18 into 20 that's what they will get so what we will do in this case is first is i will create a major so i will go to the sales i will say uh, new major and then i will uh, uh, say a discounted price so discounts something like that i will give discounts and then here i will first create a variable so where and then i will say total uh, quantity the variable color you can see here it is coming on the blue color so i will take and then equal to sum of i will take our sales quantity so sales table and then quantity column so now understand this way in this case what we did is we uh, get this quantity so i'll close this bracket and now what we will do is we will so it will give a value so now our total total quantity have some value each row it will be there and uh, i will say return so return and then i will use if here so if uh, the total quantity greater than 10 so total you can see here uh, we have the total quantity a total quantity no this is not the total quantity which we will take we will take the variable total quantity so if you will see here we have a total quantity this this one you can see here this is the variable you, you if you will see we have a measure previously which we will not take the total quantity without space we will take and this is the symbol that uh, uh, describes this as a variable so total quantity and uh, if it is greater than 10 so what we will do in this case is we will have a price of uh, 20% so i will say total quantity so whatever the quantity they have so they will get that so total quantity uh, into 20 and if it is not if it is less than uh, uh, 10 then they will get total quantity into 10 so i will close the bracket so i will click on enter now if you will see here i will just add this column 
so discount is there so the moment i got discount added so now you can see here i this has five quantities so they will get five into 10 50 they have 18 um, uh, quantity order so they will get 18 into 20 percent not percent it is 18 into straight 20 we are uh, giving the discount if you are uh, giving on um, uh, if you are taking on um, um, let's say on dollar for example you can select uh, this one and then you can actually uh, select it for example in this case i will take dollar so they will get uh, this one um so it, that that is what we we can uh, provide that so whatever this uh, quantity I, I think i have selected the table i should have selected the column or the major so let me try to do try to take uh, the whole number here so i will take the whole number so you can see here it uh, uh, it changes so now you can see here uh, i selected uh, this discount and you can see here uh, this is the dollar if you want to uh, take in dollar you can tell take that way if you want to take the whole number you can do this way you can make the currency format also so now we got this discount on this one so for the timing i will make this as whole number so i will take this as whole number and uh, now what we will do is we will calculate the price as well so after this discount what will be the price so that the user will pay that much so i will create another measure on this so i'll click on new measure and here i will say price after discount and so in this case if you will see here the price after discount will be uh, so we'll have to take a sum x here and uh, we will take the uh, total um, price into quantity and then minus our discounted price so it will be uh, we will take a sum x here sum x and then i will take uh, uh, the sales quantity so it will be on the sales table first of all we have to take the table and then the expression so uh, it will be a quantity so if you'll see here we have the sales quantity into uh, the price so you can see here sales price i'll close this and then i'll do a minus and in this case our discount so you can you can see here this is small mistake spelling mistake so this is and uh, now click on enter so you can just click on enter or you can have this tick marked uh, uh, you can use that and then i will select this now and you can see here after discount their price will be this much and if you want to actually use this you can just add the total price here and uh, i'll just add the total price so you can see here now you can see it correctly so uh, this will be their uh, quantity price this is the discount then total price and then you can see here price after discount this is how much you can uh, the, uh, this is how the calculation will be now this is how we can use the variable inside that we can uh, put our conditions and uh, if you want to you can also add multiple variables on that for example in this case you can add uh, multiple variables um, you can use this multiple variables on on this one so you can write multiple variables on this